Are any of these words ones that you might use to describe like a, maybe a daily state? How about anxiety or despair or disgust or nervousness or worry? Yeah, well, they're all in the same box. <laughs> they're all from the same family. So today we want to help people that are experiencing anxiousness about everything or about something specific. And we want to explain how the feelings that you are having are from this list, are unprocessed trapped emotions that you had in the past. What does that all mean? Stay tuned today. We're going to help a couple of people that are feeling anxious about anything or everything. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Logie. I'm a certified emotion code practitioner, and I'm live here every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern with John. And we're today we're on episode number 206. That's right, Captain Obvious. We've been here for 206 Saturdays having different topics. And this month we're focusing on one of our number one things we help people with is our anxiety about anything or anything. So good morning. Good morning, John. Good morning, yes. My name is John Inverarity, Certified Emotion Code and Body Code Practitioner. I live in Vancouver and help people all over the world decrease anxiousness, increase calmness, inner peace. So hey, if you're watching today, say hello. Uh, let us know you're watching from just in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been doing this for a couple of weeks, John. So if we've helped you in the last couple of weeks, uh, give us a shout out, say hello, let us know what you've been experiencing. And uh, then we can let our friends know that, you know, our goal here is two, twofold. One is to introduce you to another modality or methodology or way for you to reduce anxiety. It's like going to a walk-in clinic, but no one's walking anywhere. You can stay, you can volunteer today just in the chat. You don't need to be on the screen, just on the chat. And uh, we can help you. We want to be your proxy. John, what does that word mean, proxy? So as, as a practitioner, we're going to act as a pro proxy on your behalf. So we, we connect up to you and we do the work. So we muscle test, we act as a proxy. Uh, we find out what the trapped emotion is. Um, yes. So, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to, you know, wonder about it or guess. Well, that's our job, right? Yeah. We're, we're, you know, our job is to be your proxy, do it on your behalf. So uh, let us help you today, John. If we do have a couple of friends watching today that are feeling anxious about something or nervousness, tell them what they need to do to be uh, have a, an emotion code session with you or I today. Go ahead, please. Right. So if you want to have a session, address you know, anxiousness, uh, volunteer in the comments right now. So if you're watching live, Facebook or uh, on YouTube as well, we're streaming live. Uh, just volunteer, give us a little context. Hey, I know I'm anxious about you know what it is or if it's just everything, just, you know, that's good too. You know, a severity would help be like, yeah, or, you know, like on average it's an, you know, eight out of 10 or it's, you know, a four out of 10, whatever it may be. Four to the 10, yeah. Yeah, so that's it. You volunteering is giving us permission to connect up to you and do a demo a session. Yeah, we'd love to help you, and then other people can witness how we are able to help people. I mean, sometimes it's even hard to understand. How does that happen? Well, we're doing it and not maybe fully understanding how it happens, but there's still results. Hey, a couple of quick announcements. John and I are taking August off, so uh, if you want to make sure that you are notified when we're coming back in September, we're thinking maybe a new format or something. Not really sure what's going on, but uh, right here. If you want to make sure that you get on the list and be notified when we're coming back in September with the new the new season, like they do on TV, uh, let us know. We're going to enjoy our August off. Uh, what else? Yeah, make sure you get signed up. We'll get you on the email list, let you know when we're coming back. Also, on July 31st, John will be away that day, so I'm doing something special that day. Some of you might know or remember that um, I'm offering – I offer this free 20-minute – mentoring session with practitioners. I'm in the business of mentoring practitioners so they can build an emotion code practice. Uh, the link will appear on the right hand side. Uh, I've probably met with over, I want to say 72, we'll just say over 70 people in the last couple of years, teaching them in that very moment, in that 20 minute session, I'm going to mentor somebody live on July 31st, a practitioner, and I'm going to give them next steps that not the big picture because that could be overwhelming. What are, my, what are their next steps so they can move forward with the development and creation of a profitable emotion code practice? 
So I'll give them a couple things, we'll get them set up, and then they will hear that. So if you think that's you, if you think that you'd like to be mentored by me live July 31st, let me know in the chat or direct message me, if that's the right thing. Yeah, DM me, and uh, I'll get you on the roster, and we'll give you a live emotion code session if you're a certified practitioner and uh, give you some next steps how to plan your future. And also, today at 12 noon, if you're watching after today, 12 noon, um, my five-week Law of Attraction book club starts. Um, it runs for five weeks. It has a 17, 18-page workbook, and I'll be walking through all of the processes. And I'll just quickly show you. Uh, so if you're interested, you want to hang out with me for five hours, well, it's more than that, um, sign up. The link to that will go on the right-hand side, my uh, Law of Attraction book club. Okay, John, that was our announcements. Let's uh, take a peek. Who is saying what, please? Yeah, if you're, if you're watching live, say hello. And we have an update from Bonnie from last week as well. Uh, so Natasha Paula Samuel is here again. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Natasha. Jennifer Jennifer is here. Saying, Yo, bros. Holly is That's here. So, hello, number 206. Wow. Good. And John, go ahead and, and read Bonnie. We worked with Bonnie. Uh, John worked with Bonnie last week. Go ahead and talk. Yeah, Bonnie, to, you know, decrease the anxiousness last week. Uh, Bonnie's update is, yes, update from last week. John, big smile here on working on me for anxiety. Thanks again, and I think everyone could use this. Who doesn't have or had anxieties? What I also found, and I heard Michael say this, and sure John has too, uh, working on one issue can collapse other issues. I found this was the case in collapsing other issues after this. Thanks again. Things feel totally different after last week. New vibe, new life. Yeah, tell our friends what that means because we do experience it and we like when it happens because it saves us work. What does collapsing mean in our context? Okay, so maybe you come to us with a list of five things, right? And we muscle test to see where to start. Maybe we were worked on anxiety and nothing else came up. So we just work on anxiety and go through the whole session just on that. We don't directly address the four other things. You know, two days later, you're just noticing that, you know, those four other things on the list, you know, are, you know, less significant, less severe, right? Yeah. Maybe you had neck pain or something like that that we didn't address, but maybe neck pain has, you know, decreased or whatever it may be. So that's what that they means. They all have the same root feelings, right? They all have the same root emotions. So uh, that's yeah. exactly what also happens, John, when I help somebody with their creativity blocks, you know, they want to get more creative and it also deletes their procrastination because it's mm. usually that, you know, the creative insecurity emotion mm -hmm. that creates, causes procrastination. It causes writer's block. It causes brain fog. It causes um, the inability to move forward and create and design and paint and write. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then some people come with like eight things and in my head it's like, it's all one emotion, so, and I'll tell them that. And then we test it, it's like, oh, that's gone, that's gone, that, and we didn't work on them because the first session looked after that. So yeah. uh, thanks, Bonnie, for bringing that uh, point up. It makes a lot of sense. Great point, Bonnie. Thanks for that. Zachary giving us a wave from uh, Ohio. Hey, Zachary. A friend, Alan Troy's uh, watching in from YouTube, so good morning, Alan. And Jennifer, what is she saying here? Go ahead, John, read that. Uh, yeah, Jennifer Towner saying, I'm a regular, yes you are, but I have a bit of worried brain anxiety, question mark. It's waking me up in the middle of the night, brain starts working six out of 10. So that, that's super common, I work with people all the time that you know, wake up in the middle of the night, you know, worrying about things, yeah. <laughs> maybe me, maybe someone I live with, and they're up for like two, three hours, right? And it's just like going yeah. through your head of like, you know, your stresses in life, right? So it also could be self abuse, you know. And, you know, we, we think we know what it is until we work on the chart. So, because self abuse means beating yourself up uh, with words, you know, blaming yourself and, or rehashing that story over and over and over again. So, uh, we're looking for a couple of volunteers. Jennifer, if we don't find one, we will come back to you, uh, honoring your loyalty. And again, our goal today is to work with a couple of new people. If you think that's you and you're having anxiousness about any, or maybe one of your kids are, John, tell how can we help somebody with their kids if the kids are not home and they're on the playground? How, how do we do that? Go ahead. Absolutely. So if you have a, you know, a kid, 
and you want to, this you want us to do a session on them you can volunteer them if, if they're you know younger than an adult so basically like 16 15 and younger uh, we can work on them with your permission so you can book a session just give us a list of symptoms we'll connect up, up to them and just you know start the purge do the session um, yeah. without having them to come and, you know, sit in front of a camera or jump on a phone, which, you know, yeah. they're not going to do, right? So Yeah, they don't need to know. They won't even know what the words are, so they don't yeah. have to participate, yeah. yeah. But you will, you will notice a difference. Like, sometimes during the meeting, I worked with the woman last week, working with her daughter, who had lots of yeah. anger issues, and, you know, through all the work, we found out a lot of them were prenatal, and I said to the mom, the girl was nine years old, I said, when your daughter was really young, was she? And she said she was born angry. She's been angry her whole life. Mm -hmm. And this was prenatal emotion. So I deleted this prenatal, you know, this anger and hatred and stuff. Mm -hmm. While I'm talking to her, her daughter came up to her and asked her something and waited for her mom to kind of stop talking, like kind of respectfully knew that she was on the phone. And, and after she left, she was, she'd never done that before. So right during the session, yeah, there's. Then. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that too, working on, you know, young ones, just like right up in the, in the middle of the session, you know, child was watching a movie or TV, got up, went to her mom and gave her a hug, which has never done that before, right? So it's pretty mind blowing, right? Well, the mom's just know. like, yeah. Like, it's subtle for the first time. Like the parents said, I couldn't believe he kind of snuggled right up. That's never happened. The kids don't notice that, but the parents do. Yeah. But we have Pooja watching, super excited for watching your video live. Yeah, it's more than a video, it's actually live live. So welcome. Uh, Pooja is also an emotion code practitioner and uh, she was one of the recipients of that emotion code session, or sorry, the, the 20 minute session. And again, if you're an emotion code practitioner that's just finished or you're gonna be finishing soon, or you've been in business like John for a number of years, I can promise you, that in a 20 minute session, you will leave with the page of notes and strategies of what to do next. Now you might say, oh, I've been doing everything for five years. That's okay. Your what to do next is different than somebody that just finished the certification. So I will find something that you can do next to help build your know, like, and trust. And know, like, and trust is really important in our business because we've got to get people to know us We've got to get people to like us and trust us. So my strategy to help um, practitioners build a practice is just that. What can we do? Okay, John, what time is it? We are uh, we're a few minutes in here, and we're looking for a volunteer. And we're gonna we're gonna honor Jennifer. She's asked. And um, what, uh, do you want to work with Jennifer? She's your friend too. Absolutely, I'll work with Jennifer. Yeah, let's do that. And then again, uh, Jennifer, this might be a good example where you might think it's anxiety because that's you know we, we actually default a lot of stuff into anxiety, but John, through being Jennifer's proxy, is going to find out because and in the emotion code, there's there, there's two simple rules: you have to know the emotion by name, and you have to delete it one at a time. So John's going to be using muscle testing, scanning the chart. And finding out what the sen what the emotions are that Jennifer is getting that she's calling anxiety, he'll word the question in his own way. John, uh, do your uh, narrate your process for us, please. Yeah, I'm just going to connect up Jennifer Towner. Tune in, connect up. Can I get a good connection? Yeah. So I'm setting my energy aside, and now I'm muscle testing. I'm Jennifer, basically. All right. So I am muscle testing for Jennifer. Good connection, Jennifer. 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 Yes. Okay. My name is Michael. No, my name is Jennifer. Yeah, okay, so we've established a little baseline there. So Jennifer is there, a trapped emotion uh, associated causing this anxiousness, waking you up in the middle of the night, kind of worried, and, or yeah, worried, worried brain. Yeah. There is a trapped emotion. Yeah, so there is something we can clear so you can sleep through the night, get a deep, restful sleep. Yeah. We're working on anxiety or sleep here. I guess we're doing a bit of both, hey? So is it trapped in the day? It's part of the symptom for sure. Anxiousness, wake up, ang anxious, panicky, worried. Okay, so A odd. No, it's A2, four, six. So it is A2. So that's, you know, we're in the uh, the cul-de-sac here of anxiety. Anxiety is a despair. Dis it's a cul-de-sac. It's despair, yeah. I wonder if they use that word in non-Canadian countries. Cul-de-sac? 
more French, right? But we, we say cul-de-sac like it's an English word. Hey, if you're outside of Canada, do you use the word cul-de-sac? Sounds really funny when you say it slowly, but that's what it is. Yeah. Or John, I'm going to start using it. So John's talking about this grouping right here. I opened up the show today talking about those. John Muscle Tested is right here. Go ahead, John. Yeah, so great despair. So, uh, you know, I didn't get a severity, but yeah, is there another trapped emotion associated with this uh, anxiety and worried brain waking up in the middle of the night? Yeah, Jennifer does. She says, call the sack of anxiety. Yeah. yeah, so there's is it an A? So be odd. So we we are now in B six. So we're out in left field here. Is it worthless? Yeah, I need to know more. No, clear worthless. So I'm, I've got a magnet swiping over the governing meridian here. Release, 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 release. Magnet amplifies my intention to clear the emotion, blast the whole energy system. Starts with the governing meridian and gone. Okay, Jennifer, another trapped emotion we identify and clear. Waking up in the middle of the night, worried, another trapped emotion. Okay, is it standard? No, so we're back into B6. Is it inherited? Is it absorbed, shared, prenatal? So it's an absorbed trapped emotion, meaning uh, we'll find out what it is. It's absorbed, shame, need to know more. No, so shame. He was around someone feeling shame, took it on from them, and that was hers to deal with where it was. So clear that. Clear shame, absorb, that's cleared. Yeah, so Jennifer, another trapped emotion associated with this worried brain waking up in the middle of the night. No, what's the severity of this? Is this at least a five? No, four, three, three, two, zero, one or higher, zero. Okay, that's what later. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's why we like to know the severity so we can measure our work instead of just, oh, I think we did it. It's like we we do it. And your subconscious mind tells us whether we're done or whether we're not done. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, Jennifer, hang out with us a little longer and kind of move around, get your energy flowing, and then come back and give us an update. Yeah. Good work, John. Hey John, we're getting lots of cul de sac uh, users. Jennifer Towner. Uh, my friend Patricia, she's saying, I use the word called de sac. Uh, yeah. Troy also uses the word, although it's not spelt right, but he uses it too. So, <laughs> one of those, and, and even the word parliament, you know, parliament buildings, that's a French word. So, there's words that are French that we use in English context. Mm -hmm. uh, Holly is giving us the definition a cul de sac is a road that ends in a circle in the USA or any country. Not just in the oh, yeah. not as cul-de-sac if it's outside of USA. Yeah, is there are there cul-de-sacs in the UK, Natasha? Yeah, a friend, uh, Pramilia, what's she having to say? Um, um, watching from sunny and very warm Parksville, that is on a west coast of Canada on an island, not too far from me. Uh, if there was somebody else that left a comment here. Uh, I think we're going to go. Oh, it's about me, so I'm going to go find it. <laughs> Holly, who's been in my business mentor growth club uh, for two years, and she meets me on Tuesday when I do my I meet with practitioners, and they all get like a five to seven minute coaching session. Most of them get an emotion coach session. Holly, if anybody knows this, Michael can always find and suggest a great next step list for practitioners. So whether Holly's been with me for over two years or whether you're brand new, I will tell you what I think your next step. It's really important because it's overwhelming. If I said, here's the 87 things you need to do to be like John and I, you won't, you won't even know where to get started. But do this and do this. That's what I'm good at helping. Right. I do want to uh, just take a quick second and just remind you, I'm going to put this, the, the address for this 20-minute session will go on the right-hand side. You can fill it out. It'll ask you to book a, an appointment with me on the calendar, and uh, I can help you out in a 20-minute session. Okay, John, I'm going to work with Pooja here, and I'm going to do it a little bit more uh, quietly just so we can uh, have another example here. And, uh, John, tell people uh, – well, first I'm going to queue it up, and then I'm going to work with her, and then I want you to tell people the experience of booking a session and how to plan and so on. But uh, let me get um, connected here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Or, or, um, and then you can um, 
tell our friends about how to book a session. Here we go. So Pooja, welcome. And uh, uh, you know, one of the things they need to give is permission. Well, this is implied, right? <laughs> She's saying do this. So uh, I'm just going to connect, reconnect because I've connected with her before. There we go. Am I Michael? No. Am I Pooja? Yeah. So you know, I feel anxious about me being unable to wake up early in the morning, even if I want to. And though I do at times, I don't feel fresh. So uh, what is this? Uh, well, first. Is it anxiousness that I'm feeling around that? No, this is another example where we use the word. So when I'm telling Michael about this experience, how many emotions are making up this feeling that I'm calling anxiousness? Under five, four, three, under two, over two, two, one, two. Okay, let me find them. two. It's despair and nervousness. Are these both mine? Yes. Deleting despair, Magnet. Deleting this despair. Deleting this nervousness. You know, before today's session, what was this average of this despair and nervousness energy, waking up and not getting up early and wondering I'm not going to get up early and worried that I'm not going to get up or just feeling despair because I didn't get up early and I wasted blah, blah, blah. Before today, what was the severity of that experience? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now is it 10? These are no's. Is it 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? It's a zero. Is it one? No, it's zero. Okay. Anything else I need to ask or do around this? No, am I done? Yes. Okay, Pooja, let me know if you had any sensations during that, any tingling, any feelings, and uh, for sure, join us next week. I know it's probably late for you, like maybe one in the morning. Um, good. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple more hellos, John. I'm just going to make sure that I'm disconnected. Oh, you're going to go ahead and tell friends, you know, hey, I'm interested. I don't know what to plan for a session. Go ahead, John. Tell them how it goes down. <laughs> yeah, so absolutely. So if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session, you can go to our website. I'm at aliveandpeer.com. Michael's at michaelosier.com. Links are in the comments there. We have online scheduling, so you can go and book a session. We recommend a package to start, so, you know, two sessions, three sessions, or more. And... Uh, it links up to PayPal. We'll send you a link. We can be doing a session over Zoom. And what you do is you just go into the online scheduling, set your time zone, you know, pick a day, time. Simple as that. Really, really simple. And we both have uh, you know a list of concerns that we've, we that we have seen success in. So yeah, Michael's is right there. It's kind of like a menu, right? You know, you go to a, you know a, a restaurant, you know. Chinese food restaurant, and you're like, yeah, I want one, six, nine, and ten. You can do that here as well, right? Yeah, and we'll start with the number seven, please. Yeah, yeah, and uh, simple as that. So you send us a list of concerns in advance. That way, we can you know get right to it in the session, and yeah. you know be really, really you know efficient with our work. That's it. Yes, you know our goal is to be fast, efficient, and effective. And a couple things really help us with that, and you can help us. Less story and more bullet problems. Boy, we can do that, right, John? Love and because people are used to it. Well, let me tell you, about seven, ah, seven years ago, no, today, right now, where's the pain, and how does it hurt, and what's the number? But we're, everyone's so used to having to tell the story and back it up, and but, um, the beauty of this, we don't need to know the story. Even if it's something personal, we don't need to know the story. Well, John, we did a good job today. Uh, we got a couple more friends here. We have Heather Fisher from sunny Labrador City. And if you don't know where that is, it is the farthest eastern province in Canada with the nicest people in the whole world. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, love uh, Labrador City, Newfoundland or Newfoundland. Uh, our friend Deb Milot is with us. Hey, Deb, welcome. And Natasha Paula Samuel giving us an update in the UK. John, what is she saying? Good ask. So in the UK, we don't really use the word cul-de-sac. No. They don't exist. No. And you're so close to France. Maybe they don't even use it in France. Mm. There you go. We've got Doug Collins watching in from Halifax. That, again, is on the east coast of Canada. So we want to thank you for joining us. Okay, again, uh, next week we'll be doing another show on anxiety. And the week after, I'm going to be mentoring an emotion code practitioner to help them uh, plan and get ready for their next step. If you'd like to be mentored live, John won't be here, it'll be you and I on the screen. 
you let me know and I will give you some next action steps with support on what you need to do. Make sure you get notified, uh, join the email list so you can get notified of topics, particularly when we're away. We wanna let you know when we're coming back and you know we might be doing something special, make a big deal about it. So we'd love to have you join us. So uh, good, a couple more. Uh, Sheldon Foster from Baltimore, a fellow practitioner. Good morning, Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. Okay, I think we did it, John. Well, I know we did it. We helped a couple people. We demonstrated the emotion code. We demonstrated the efficiency of it. And uh, again, so when you go to hire us, and my hunch is you will or want to, <laughs> make sure you check our list first because if you just come with one item and then you know we want to fill up all the time, you say, there, well, that's, that's just one thing. That's like getting the white rice. You, know, you want all of it. You want the appetizers and the crunchy stuffs and the soup and the dessert, which is very rare at a Chinese restaurant, but the cookie will do. So you want everything. <laughs> okay, everybody, thanks for hanging out. Uh, Jennifer is gonna keep us updated. And uh, Bonnie Marsh is saying thanks for the work that you did with her last week. John, let's say goodbye. We'll see you later, everybody. Yeah, have a great week, everyone.